I have never, whenever I've called someone out or whenever I've, you know, taken something up with on, you know, on Twitter, it's never to try and exclude people. My priority has always been first that I want people to understand and change. I have never had, an, I've never wanted to shut people out of my life, even people I don't know. But when they, if they're the ones who insist on not changing, you know, I can't. Both of you. Yeah, if they're insistent on not changing, it's that's on them. That's their choice. They have they have decided that they do not want to make the effort to uh, make themselves better. I come this way. And you know they can blame anyone they want for the choices that they've made, but ultimately it is always their choice to be so you know they're the ones that have decided that they want to go that way I want to get that chest oh that was distressingly easy ah this is not never mind And I think it's one of the problems with a lot of these people who do fall into conservative mindsets is that everyone else, it's always a scapegoat's problem. It's never, um, it's, it's always never wanting to take personal responsibility. Because having to take personal responsibility would mean having to face up to things that they have not wanted to face in themselves. Oh, it's money. And I think to some, that realization of who they have to become, who they are, have, um, what am I saying? The, the introspection is something that scares them more than anything else. They just don't want to do it. They don't want to have to make an effort. Yeah, exactly that. It's it's like, it's... It's like saying, well, it's your fault that you defended yourself. When it should not be that. You defend yourself because you are attacked, and yet that will be what they see as the instigation because they want the right to do everything that they. Oh, sword tip was just too long. Because I, I, I don't... It's obvious that these people have the capacity for kindness because there are people that they become close to, that they are very sort of jovial and potentially very, like, you know, open with in their own emotions. But they still just have this abject selfishness to them that kind of overrides that. And I think, well, because it, you get it a lot with, within the furry community, people who are conservative or, or bigoted and uh, that have a lot of friends because these friends operate on a different, on a more so, sort of superficial level. So you say, well, obviously you have that openness, you have that kindness and you have that level of tolerance, but is it only to people like you? Is it only people who support that thing that you do or that you want it's that's that's not openness that's not tolerance that's just that's exploitation that's you know just prolonging a status quo that benefits you and it's it's like people who think that silence is you know not talking about issues is uh you know means that the problem doesn't exist. Ah. 
foxes. <sighs> I'm trying hard not to swear, as you can tell. I don't think it's going to work somehow. 